Wiring for a camper can become basic or complicated and it's dependent on your specific camper. So here we can have a battery and your battery will supply power to your camper. Often that power will go to your converter or your distribution panel. Some people might call it a breaker box in general terms. And that power will go from the battery to that breaker box. Now that distribution panel will supply the power to different appliances throughout your camper, including your switches that will power your awning. Here would be an interior switch. You will have one power supply going to that switch and then you will have your touch pad. So we have power going from our breaker box, our distribution panel to our touch pad and to our interior switch. And both of those will supply power to our motor. And this will vary depending on your individual camper. But each of these will be individual power supply lines. And they will both need a inline fuse that will often be represented with a squiggle on wiring diagrams. And both of these fuses should be 15 amp fuses. This is what an inline fuse will look like. And it's a little box that will hold the blade fuse. For the awnings, it requires a 15 amp blade fuse. And you can get these at automotive stores or home centers. And they're very easy to replace. To replace it, you just grab your new one and there's no specific orientation that you need to insert these. And you insert it and then your fuse should be good. If your wiring goes through that distribution panel, you may have another fuse there that will be indicated with a red indication light that that fuse is blown and needs replaced. Sometimes they will be blown without that indication light. So you should always regularly go through and check all of your fuses to make sure your system has enough power to run any appliance.